Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here today. Um, these conversations are definitely a highlight of my week every week that we have them. And when they're not, I go back and watch the videos and then they become the highlight of my week. Speaking of videos, you might see that we are recording. Uh, I think Amanda mentioned this, but we record the opening and then we do not record the discussions. Uh, so this is the opening. Welcome. Today, we're going to talk about the uh, 2023 Accelerate State of DevOps report. And just to help you get into the right mindset, uh, I want to read the entire report to you. Don't worry, it's only 95 pages long. It'll only take me a minute. Uh, of course, we're not actually going to do that, but I do want to cover off on some of the highlights. So here I am, uh, and maybe you're there as well, over on Dora.dev. At Dora.dev, of course, you can find everything that you want to know. Well. Maybe not everything you want to know, but lots of things that you want to know about Dora over on Dora.dev, including, of course, how to get the 2023 report. Uh, I want to jump over here to the research page really quickly. And from there, I'm just going to scroll right past this Dora core, which is super important, but we've talked about it before, to the research archives and go to the 2023 page. Uh, from here, you'll find a lot of great information about the report that isn't the report, but also a link off to the report so that you can read it all. Let's start with some of this information because I think that this overview of the report is actually pretty good when it comes to, well, sharing some key insights about the report. So look, this is, uh, this is um, a, a long running research program. As you know, this research has been going for about a decade now. A lot of great things this year, and I want to thank each and every one of you for participating in our survey. This year, a survey saw more than 300% more respondents than we saw in the previous year, and that allows us to really dig into new pathways new and, and gather new insights and analysis. Really quickly, one of the big things that we found this year was the teams that are focused on the users are the teams that have really the best performance. Those teams are seeing 40% higher organizational performance and 20% higher job satisfaction. That's really incredible. Focusing on the user and really understanding, we build software and we run software in service of creating great user experiences to help drive our businesses forward. These are some of the key findings of this year's report. Speaking of other key findings, I'm going to take you through five, maybe six of the key findings while we're here. Maybe just five today. Who knows? Uh, first and foremost, to in a surprise to no one, we looked at artificial intelligence. What we found is that more than half of the respondents of this year's survey are using AI in some way. We aren't yet seeing those uh, uses of AI flow all the way through to organizational performance and really driving good outcomes yet. But the truth is this AI space is moving quite quickly. Uh, maybe today you're seeing some of those uh, uh, impacts flow all the way through to your organizational performance. And the truth is the way that the survey works, we, we closed the survey in around July. And wow, July feels like three years ago in terms of how much AI has progressed since then. So maybe you're seeing different results now, but more on that in the report. Number two, culture. And, and I say number two, culture, but honestly, let's be frank. Number one is culture. Culture is the foundation to everything that we do. We are talking about and looking at how do teams get better at delivering and operating software? How do teams drive organizational performance? Teams being the key word there and we, the people, we are part of those teams. In fact, we are a significant part of that team. And how we work together with one another across various parts of our organization and, and indeed across various parts of our industry really, really matters. And we see that teams with performance-oriented or generative cultures have a 30% higher organizational performance. For the third year in a row, uh, we looked at documentation going on to our third key highlight here. Documentation, we, we have this saying around here, documentation is like sunshine. Documentation is, and, and specifically we're talking about internal documentation, but documentation really helps drive and enable the key technical capabilities. Not only does it allow teams to get better at, at doing those technical capabilities, but it also helps those capabilities matter more to your organizational performance. Key finding number four, flexible infrastructure with the cloud. Look, a lot of us have moved out of data centers and into the cloud. Many of us were born in the cloud, if you will. The key to getting the most out of cloud is to really leverage the flexibility that cloud offers, specifically when it comes to infrastructure. 
In fact, you can have flexible infrastructure within a data center, and that can drive real performance goals. But the truth is that we're seeing more use of flexible infrastructure in the cloud. Unfortunately, we're also seeing some use in the cloud of not so flexible infrastructure. So it's not just that you're using the cloud, but how you use the cloud. And then finally, in the report, we have some words to say about, and, and we did some research into how work gets distributed across your team. Are there people on your team that maybe identify as underrepresented? And are those people taking on more toilsome work than maybe others on your team? Really being thoughtful about how work gets distributed across your team is really important. Now, before we uh, open up, I want to show uh, open up our discussion. I want to show you a couple of other quick things here on the same research page. Some of these are new since the last time we met. First, we have all of our structural equation models, or the SEMs, or the uh, DFDs, uh, the big friendly diagrams, if you will, that kind of outline exactly how each of these things interact and play with each other. In years past, we've published one giant PFD. In this year, we're publishing a number of different um, uh, SEMs, uh, structural equation models, so that you can look at that. And then probably most importantly is this idea of questions. Here's one of the challenges that we face as a team. We want to ask people about things like continuous integration. Do you practice continuous integration? The challenge with us asking that question in particular is that what I understand to be continuous integration might be different to what you understand as continuous integration. So in fact, in our survey, when we ask the questions, we typically avoid completely the labels that we later use in our research. Labels like artificial, well, artificial intelligence was definitely in the survey. Uh, labels like cloud or continuous delivery or continuous integration or trunk-based development. Instead, what we do is we ask questions that are about the characteristics of how we on the research team define each one of those capabilities. So for here, you can see as an example with continuous integration, we don't ask, do you do that? We ask, do automated test failures uh, block a commits progress through the pipeline? Automated tests are executed at least daily, et cetera. So we use these questions in our survey, and then we kind of bulk them together into this label of continuous integration when we do that reporting. This is important because it, it, it kind of highlights some of the uh, challenges that we face as researchers in both how do we gather this data, but also how do we re then report on that data. And, and we really want to um, make these questions available to you so that you can understand exactly how we asked about each one of those capabilities as well. All right, with that, that's enough for me. Uh, I want to hear from you. What are your key insights? What are your big surprises? What are your questions about this year's research? We're going to head over to the Lean Coffee. I'm going to hand things back to Amanda to take us there. Thanks, Amanda.